I really like to say relationship starts with me. And especially a great relationship. If you want to really have a great relationship, or rather, I decided seven years ago, if I really wanted to have a really great relationship, I needed to have a great relationship with myself. And that's that commonality, the theme. The common theme here is that a relationship with yourself, or rather, stuff is within, not without. Everyone has been saying it. By the great speakers, give a round of applause to the great speakers who spoke here. Amazing, amazing stories. Loved you guys. If it's okay, I would like to share a story as to how I came across, if you want to have a great, great relationship, or rather, if I wanted to have a great relationship, I need to have a relationship with myself. Is that okay with you guys? Yes? Wow, it's kind of dying in here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So around seven years ago, I, I was this really young, unconfident, lacking in purpose, lacking in direction, and lacking in self-value individual. Kid, I would say, rather. I still am a kid, but uh, after some years, obviously, you develop. But during that time, around seven years ago, I was spending time with the wrong people, doing the wrong things, spending time in three different jobs, Pizzaville, Starbucks, and a commission job. And at that time, I was not good with women when it came to talking to them. I got rejected multiple times. I was trying to find the person that I love in my life, or rather the person that I wanted to live for the rest of my life. But I wasn't actually finding her, because the problem was that I wasn't finding myself. Because truly, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what I was looking for, because I didn't know what I was looking for in myself. And at the time, I didn't know that. I was thinking that everyone else is like, yeah, they just don't like me because they're weird. They're, they, they have issues, right? But after some time, there was this one night that truly changed my life. And that was the night that, it was the, the night that I came after a really beautiful vacation with my late uncle and my family from Bahamas. It was a beautiful day, beautiful time there. I came back from that vacation, and with only three hours of sleep, I decided to go to work. And my mom was telling me, by the way, for everyone here who's, uh, who has parents, obviously, or else how would we ever come to this world? <laughs> Listen to your mom in those cases, or your parent, when they say, do not go to work when you only had three hours of sleep especially driving your car, your brand new car that your dad just bought you. I was like, Mom, it's okay. I'm just going to go to work. And, uh, and it's early. I'm, just, eh, I'm not doing anything at home. Might as well just, you know, I'm, I'm wasting my time already. Might as well just go waste it there with the people I like, right? So I went in, and obviously I did the wrong thing. That day I worked really hard with th only three hours of sleep, and then I decided to do even a more ignorant thing, and that is go work the night at Pizzaville Delivery. That day I made a lot of money at that time, and that night I was driving back home and I was getting really, really dizzy and, and drowsy and sleepy. And at the time I was working at Starbucks, so I came back on Young and I was deciding, I was like, you know what, maybe it's 9.30, I could go by and get, get a coffee. I decided to go into the middle lane in order to turn into the plaza. I went 80 kilometers an hour in a 50 zone. Reckless driving for sure, because once I got to the top in order to turn into the plaza, you're supposed to stop in the middle. I didn't. I was like, okay, I'm just going to cut through. I didn't see any cars coming. Not knowing that actually going 80 kilometers an hour and cutting through, I wasn't going into the plaza in the right way. I was going into the plaza where people come out. And this guy was coming out. And when he came out, I was going into him. And instead of pressing the brake, I pressed the gas. And when I pressed the gas, everything just became slow motion. And that's when I felt like my life just went literally flashed by my eyes. The car T-boned, 
airbags popped out. My head hit the window and the steering wheel, knocked out conscious. When I ended up at the hospital, I said, what the hell happened? I don't have my pizza delivery car anymore. I don't have the $3,000 that I spent on this car like my, my parents obviously did. I don't have my job now because I'm two weeks off of it now. So I have $5,000 in debt because of that day because I, I just didn't listen to my mom. But the understanding that I got is it was a wake-up call because I was really going in life without a direction, without an aim towards nothing. I was just going with the flow. I didn't know what, what I wanted to do. I thought maybe if I do these three jobs, make some money, I'm just going to find out what I wanted to do. And finally, I took those two weeks, and I really, really invested the time and the money and the energy to truly develop myself in personal development books, such as Tony Robbins' books, Coach Corey Wayne, Dr. Gary Chapman, Five Love Languages. Very good book. How to find the love that you, that, how to get the love that you want by uh, Dr. Um, something Hendricks. I forgot his name. But I started reading these books from Dr. Cindy Trim, the Zig Ziglar's, the Jim Rohn's, the Brian Tracy's, all these books that truly developed myself to understand what I wanted. Because what I did not know is that when I was pointing my fingers to other people and blaming other people, like, yeah, like it's because of these people that I'm like this, there was actually three fingers pointing back at me. So I decided if I'm going to truly understand what I want in my life and who I actually wanted in my life, I needed to focus on me. I needed to focus on develop myself because relationship starts with me. In order for me to have a relationship with anyone else, as I see the time is ending, in order to have a true relationship with someone else, I need to be a better person. And a lot of the times we try, we try finding this other person when we don't know what we want in life. But once we find what we want in life, then we can find out what we want in that other person. And once we know what we want in that other person, then we can know where to look for this other person. Because I was looking everywhere, just like how I was looking everywhere for my purpose. One more minute. Instead of trying to change others around you, change yourself and everything will change. Instead of trying to change your partner, make yourself better. Instead of trying to focus on other things to get better, make yourself better. Because once you be get better in your relationships, your partner gets better. You influence them to get better. Your relationships get better. But when you focus on your relationships, when you focus on money and you're really dying inside, everything else will die eventually. But you might think that it's growing. But truly, you need to grow in order for everything else to grow. I'm trying to think of the last pointer that I learned from that situation is that as I was telling you that, um, as I was mentioning, is I was trying to find love in my life. It truly happened. I found the person that I wanted to truly live the rest of my life with. And she is sitting right here. There she is. <laughs> and uh, what I truly found was what I truly found was I was looking in the wrong places within the wrong people. And when I truly found her, I was like, a lot of, a lot of the times I, I, I thought to myself, I'm going to find this one. I'm going to find this one. You know, God's going to bring me this one. But what I understood is that you don't find the one. You choose the one. And so when I chose her, which was so beautiful, uh, today is actually our anniversary. So three years. <laughs> so it's been a very beautiful thing. But the thing that I really learned was relationship starts with you. For all the couples in the house, instead of trying to put your fingers to your, to, um, to your, cup, to your spouse, focus on yourself first. Grow yourself first. 
and you'll see the positive and the powerful impact you have on your spouses. Thank you. Woo!